Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to Celebrate Wonder. It is week six. Oh, I need another finger there. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am Miss Lori, and this is Laud the Lamb. And it looks like, Pastor Meredith, are you in your car? Hi, everybody. I am in my car. It's Pastor Meredith with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Oh, I've wow. been going and going and going today. And I just pulled into my driveway and it was like, oh my gosh, it's time for Celebrate Wonder. I better get on with Miss Laurie. And here we are. Well, you just made it. I did just make it. Yeah. yeah. How cool. Yeah. I love Celebrate Wonder. And I'm so glad to be here with you all. So it's week six. Week six. That's a Week six. Okay. I think we're going to be talking about going today anyway. So that works pretty well. That works out well. Yeah. <laughs> I went to my backyard. Well, I better go to my wonder table. <laughs> oh, I'll go to my wonder table too. Yeah, I'm getting a little warm also. Okay. We're going to go inside for a minute. We'll see everybody at your wonder table. See you there. Okay, we've made it to our wonder table. I'm ready to light my candle. I don't know about you, Pastor Meredith, but we're going to try to light the candle and not the lamp. Oh, some days this goes better than others. <laughs> don't need your help either, Oreo. You seem to be doing a good job. You're getting that lit. Got it. Yep. Yep. Very nice. Well, you know, I just got back from riding around in my car and that got me thinking about traveling and um, about taking a journey. And Miss Laurie, if you were going on a journey around the world, what would you take with you? Well, I mean, I, I have to pack well, I guess, go around the world. I would also need to take snacks, right? So I might get hungry. I'd probably also take my diet, Dr. Pepper. I might get thirsty. You know, the important things. I was thinking about it too. I think oh, I would take my favorite lamb. You take your lamb? I think I would want to take my favorite um, fleece jacket. So it's good when it's kind of cool and colder and warm. And then I think I would bring a friend too. So I'm going to bring Fiona the hippo with me. Maybe my family, too, on a journey. Hey, Lord. Well, definitely Fiona. Oh, definitely Fiona. She's a good travel partner. Yeah. Cool. She's a good travel partner, too. <laughs> well, our uh, Bible story today has uh, some implications for travel for us as people who love and follow Jesus. It is in the Bible. It is in Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. And we hope that you'll read that together with your household. Get your Bible out. Again, Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. And this is one of those stories in the Bible that has a title that we often know it by. And it's called the Great Commission. And that's a big word, commission, really which word. means uh, a call or something that you are going to do, that you're supposed to do, that you're committed to do, like commission. And so in our Bible story, we hear about how Jesus tells his disciples that they are going to need to do a very special thing, that they are committed to doing, that their commission is to form a community of disciples everywhere they go and all around the world, that they're supposed to go out into the world and share Jesus's good news of love and grace and um, help people get together into community like churches and groups so that they can love and follow Jesus too. The Great Commission to get going out there to do that. Now, this was a lot for the disciples to take in. Some of them were not sure. They were still a little scared. Jesus had just been resurrected. Not all of them believed. It was yeah. tough. But Jesus had faith in them, and he gave them the work to do anyway, just like he gives it to us. So it's pretty cool, which got me wondering, you know, if you could go anywhere to share about God, Miss Laurie and Laud, where would you go? 
Yeah. Laud, Laud thinks that we should go to Hawaii to share about God. <gasps> Why is that, Laud? Um, he says he's never been, and um, he thinks he should check out what the, the, the situation is, that, you know, they might need education. That's good thinking, Rod. Jesus. You know, I was talking with Fiona the hippo, and she said she would like to go to Africa where the other hippos are and uh, share about God. And I thought, well, wow, that's a long way. But then it got me thinking about, well, Fiona just, she wants to share about God with her family and with her friends. And I thought, well, that's a good idea. So I could just go in my neighborhood and share about God or share God with my friends who maybe don't have a church or I don't know about Jesus, but I, we could do that. So we could have a long-term uh, idea that we want to go to Africa, but we could get going right here in our own place to share about God. We could, but we could also go to Hawaii. You could. <laughs> I could, yeah. Well, with that said, let's dream about Hawaii and let's watch our Bible video. It's coming up next. And as we get ready for that, let's have a prayer together, shall we? We shall. Okay, let's pray. Dear God. Dear God, thank you for calling us. Thank you for calling us to share with others. To share with others. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get in close for our video right now. Hey everyone, I'm Samuel. Did you know that Jesus gave us instructions on what to do when he was gone? After the good news spread that Jesus was alive, Jesus brought his disciples together to share important instructions with them. They met Jesus on a mountain, and some of the disciples worshiped, but some of the other disciples weren't so sure. They doubted. I imagine they looked at each other, wondering if this was real. This was such a strange situation, and they didn't know exactly how to handle it. Even in their doubt, they still came to see what Jesus had to say. Jesus wanted to make sure they knew that they still had work to do. Jesus didn't come just to spread love when he was here, but to teach all his followers how to spread love too. The disciples were told to go spread the messages of love, community, joy, and peace with everyone they could. This was good news of Jesus. Even if they didn't understand all that Jesus asked them to do, they knew that telling others about their teacher and friend, Jesus, was important. Friends, it's okay not to know everything. Honestly, none of us do. It's okay to wonder and to have questions about what you see around you. Every time I hear this story, I have a new question. This time, I wondered if the disciples were nervous or excited to go share. Sometimes I feel both. Wherever you are and whoever you are, you can still share the news of Jesus. Each of us can share with at least one person, and then that person can share with another. This is how good news is spread. Sharing good news reminds others to share too. Now it's your turn to wonder. Hi, everybody. So our activity for today, it says to make a map. Now you can make the map, but what it's really wanting you to do is to get out in your neighborhood. And when you go for our somewhere in the car, maybe with an adult, to look around and see in your neighborhood and in our community where you could go and share the message of Jesus. So I'm out here on our road. I'm probably going to go take a walk and just kind of see where I could maybe share Jesus. And maybe when I go pick up my kids today from school, look around my community and where could I share Jesus? So that is your mission 
for this week, and not just this week, but all the time, where can you share the love of Jesus and the word of Jesus? So get out and about. It's beautiful. And let's spread the word. Bye, guys. Hi, grownups. It is time for our spiritual practice together today. And this week, you know, we've been talking about the Great Commission and Jesus giving his disciples, all of us, that great purpose of sharing his love with everyone. But this week, what I'd like for you to do for your spiritual practice is to reflect on your own commission. Is there something specific that you feel like God is calling you to do in ministry? Even if you may not be ready to answer that call yet, I'd love for you to take some time to think about it. And then maybe journal about it. And if you're ready to move on with that, then maybe write out a plan for answering that call. Do you need to take a class? Is there more training? Do you need to talk to somebody at church? Do you need to talk with me? What can you do to begin to prepare to answer this call that God has placed on your life? I uh, offer that to you this week, adults, to follow your commission in life, whatever that next step may be. And know that we're here at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church to help you with that. Enjoy that process. Trust God in that process. We'll see you again soon. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us for week six of Celebrate Wonder. Laud and Miss Oreo here, and I would like to remind you about your celebration chart. Remember those celebrations with your family? Check those off as you go. And we're just enjoying a beautiful day out here today. It is a beautiful day, and um, I so much love our project for this week to go around our neighborhood and be looking where we can share about Jesus's love uh, in all those different places. And so to help us remember how to do that, I want to uh, just remind you that, say it after me, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. Excellent. Let's do it one more time. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves everybody. Jesus loves everybody. Which is a wonderful thing to share around the world. Yes. Yes. So we hope that you'll remember that and say those phrases several times over that practice is in your uh, kit, your Celebrate Wonder kit, so you can look at it there. But Miss Laurie and I wanted to let you all know this is going to be our last Celebrate Wonder for a while. We're here at the end of April, and we're going to take the month of May off because, wow, it is a busy month with the end of school and all of those things that are happening. And as we get ready for our summer ministry and family ministries and children's ministries, there's likely to be some changes. But man, we have really enjoyed doing Celebrate Wonder with you and hope that you've enjoyed it too. I've loved it. Mm -hmm. Fiona has really loved the last couple of weeks. She's gotten to do it too. Yes. Yes. And Luna was chiming in too. She, she loved it. She's a fan. fan. So, so as we had to remember, we're going to have our song here right after uh, we finish up and our song is tell somebody. So make sure you stick around for a few minutes for that, but let's have a prayer as we head into our song. Shall we? Okay. Okay. Let's pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For calling us. For calling us. And trusting us. And trusting us. To share your love with others. To share your love with others. Amen. 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 Let's sing.
saw him hit the ground. 